Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create Druid Gradient album cover like this in GIMP. So let's get started. First, open your GIMP, go to File, go to New, and create a new document. The size I'm going to go with will be 2000 pixel into 2000 pixel. Click OK. So firstly, what I'm going to do is just I will link this image in the description. This is the color palette we are going with it's your wish you can change it if you like so firstly what i'm going to do is just go to this click on select the color i want uh firstly i will fill my background color with black okay now i will create a new layer and just i will select make this layer visible and click on the foreground color and select this uh, to pick up the color we'll pick up this blue color click ok and just make this invisible again the mode i'm going to go with change this mode here okay we'll go with pin light okay just increase the size and i will just make something like this yes this works so I will just control press control Z okay I will just clear this the hardness I'm going to go with will be this one 75 hardness increase the size increase the size this works I guess just create something like this again pick up the color the color this time I will again pick up another color I will go with purple make it invisible again like this layer and just make it like this see you can if i am going with this mod pin light I, you can see the color matches and we can get some new color here when they these two overlaid each other that's why i went with this mod pin light again i will again open my color palette my for open my foreground color and again pick up my color tool this time i will go with this pink click ok make this invisible and again make this make it like this again i will open my palette again select a new color from here uh, i will this time pick this yellow color click ok make this in make this invisible again and take it like this okay again i will pick another color make this visible and this time i will go with this white and okay make it like this i guess this works just fill it in between okay now what i'm going to do is go to filters and go to blur and go to gaussian blur i will just increase my blur size okay i guess this works fine click ok now i am going to create another layer here firstly i will go to this ellipse tool and hold shift and you can just i will just try to hold shift when you are selecting first you can just drag this circle here okay i will go to select and click on this none again you can just drag it first click here first left click and then drag to create an ellipse here okay and if you while dragging and do not leave your left click if you hold shift you can create a proper circle here instead of an ellipse okay so our aim here will be just to get this gradient from here this gradient we'll go to edit and i will create and copy for it okay uh you can go to select and go to none now you can pick up your brush tool by picking up, uh, up your brush tool you can go and select this okay the problem was that i was selecting this layer but my colors were present in this layer so nothing was copied there i will just 
press ctrl z and my selection will come again and i will just select this layer and now i will go to edit and i will copy and now when i go and select you can see it will create a brush out of that selection now select this i will go to select and click on this none so that selection is gone from here i will click on this layer and after clicking on this layer you can see just for an example i will just drag it here you can see these copies are being created again and again just i do not want it like this i want it to be in state and not like this multiple copies of this i will press ctrl z to fix it i will make this spacing uh, nil okay around one will work now you can see it's in straight line like this i guess this works i am on, on a new layer i will just drag it here like this i will just lower my size i will make it a little bit bigger you can also increase the size of brushes by bracket keys okay i guess that works in inkscape my mistake okay so i will just select it here click a circle here and again i will just increase this size again and create another one here and just drag it again here i guess this works now what i'm going to do is again uh, just make this invisible okay i will again create a new layer i will first go select this and i will create another you can say gradient for this we'll go to this ellipse tool this time i am going to create an color out of this gradient here and go to edit and go to copy okay go to select and none now i will select this layer and go to this again brush brush again now i will just increase my size a little bit because this works by selecting now i am selecting the new layer right we'll just drag it here like this and drag it here like this also i guess this works i will press ctrl z we'll make it like this i will make it like this okay i guess this works i will again duplicate it i will uh, i will create a new layer okay this time i will again just make every other invisible layer invisible and just select this layer this time again select my ellipse tool and this time i will go with this gradient here from here and go from with any gradient i will i am just selecting this one go to edit go to copy and go to select and then now what i'm going to do is just selecting this new layer selecting the brush that gradient has changed you can see that selection of brush i will increase my size more i'm in a new layer you can see i will create another one here the control set we'll make another one here we'll make another one here like this i guess this works now i will what will i do i will just drag it below i will make it the farthest one i will make it like this now what i'm going to do is just first select this layer this will be with the biggest i have made here okay now what i will i do i will go to filter and go to blur and go to gaussian blur and increase the gaussian blur to around 25 okay around 25 works for this and click okay and lower it to 20 i guess and click okay for this now i will make this little visible and select this layer and go to filters and go to blur and go to gaussian blur again and make this size around 7 okay 
this time or five five bucks i guess click ok make this visible yes we are going with this one now we are going to just make other layers invisible i will select this layer and just go to scale tool and i will scale it a lot okay i will scale it a lot and try to center it here scale it a lot and try to center it here and click scale now you can see we are done with it just now we can select our text tool and i will just write like 80 oh i will change my color first change my color make this white okay we'll go with it is q okay we just move it up here and i guess we are done with this so hope you guys liked it it's a little bit different from this one but it all depends on the color you are using and you can experiment with it more okay so thank you guys for watching hope you liked it and like comment subscribe for more tutorials like this see you later guys bye